hello guys um quick one let me quickly drop this strategy uh, and i won't waste most of our time i will quickly go straight to the point as you all know my name is akin i am the lead instructor from kinfx academy um so if you are new to this youtube channel please at the end of this video if we deserve or qualify for a subscribe from you please do so and i'm very sure um we are going to uh, meet up the qualification from you and if there is any error or you notice anything please that is why the comment section is always open um don't hesitate to drop your comment all the comment is welcome and it's going to be attend to you can check our previous video we always reply comment so guys um so guys in this video I'm going to show you this um, quick strategy. Um, in my previous um, video, I dropped about um, awesome oscillator and the accelerator oscillator. This is the other way round. I dropped that for the five minutes strategy. This one I'm going to um, is similar to that one, but it is um, let me say it is more active than that one. Not that. That one is not active, but it keeps you in the market longer than that one. So, hold on, guys. Um, so, as I was saying... So this one now, uh, with what you can see on my screen, you can see the accelerator oscillator. You can see um, two moving averages and the trend moving average. The trend moving average is 200 EMA, while the crossing uh, moving averages, they are 535 period EMA. So... This 5 and 35 period EMA is the same thing as awesome oscillator. If you watch my previous video, you will know all my explanation, what I explained about the awesome oscillator. You understand? This accelerator oscillator tell us quick about the change in the momentum. When the momentum change, so it's going to um, change the trend of the market and when the trend change is going to change the price so before anything happen this accelerator oscillator will change, tell us there's going to there's a change in momentum so then we know that there's going to be a change in the market so if you're on downtrend it will be giving us the signal that the momentum is going to change and we will find our way to assist the market and enter for buy so let me quickly explain how it works here as you can see this general trend which is this moving average i colored red it is 200 ema i'm going to show you that moving average exponential so and these two crossing moving averages they are 5 and uh, 35 so i'm going to show you and the settings for this accelerator oscillator so now guys how to use this strategy you know for crash crash is defaulted for buy why boom is defaulted to sell you understand so you are not catching spike you just want to escape the spike this is the best way to escape spike in the markets you understand so anytime this uh, moving average maybe you have come across this several time because i always i am i'm used to it i always use uh, this 200 EMA. um i commonly use it every time sorry for that so anytime this moving average is above the price let me say the candle so that you'll be clear understand it's above the candlesticks on crash that means you should never enter the market to buy because spike will continue and continue happening so anytime the price is above the 200 you can see this 200 ma here you can see it here that means you are safe to enter for buy and you are counting 10 candles 
to 15. Yes, it's possible. You can actually get 15. If you have enough money in your account, you can get 15. Trust me. So, that's why I say this strategy will make you stay longer in the market than the previous one if you know how to use it very well okay let me quickly explain uh, how to um, confirm your entry so after confirm that this um price is above this moving average you'll be waiting for a cross here to happen so after seeing a cross here you have to look for what this accelerator oscillator is saying you understand so let me explain that after confirming a cross with the five the five eme is the black it must cross the blue which is 35 let me confirm that so that i won't make the mistake yes the five is the first is the black so the five must cross the blue is the fact is the five which is black that must cross the blue you can use different color i don't know if you can see it very well that this is black color and this is blue color the five the black color is five which is fast ema and the slow ema is 35 which is the blue color the first one must be able to cross the blue one after confirming the blue i don't know each one any i don't know any one of these um indicators can give you the signal first but you have to confirm from the second one what i mean is that maybe the cross first happen or the accelerator first tell you that the momentum has changed in the market like here now in this scenario here you can see that the accelerator has already give you the green bar that is the momentum has changed the market is ready to continue the uptrend but the um the cross has yet to happen you can see but later the cross happen here when the cross happen the bar has changed to red you can see that already the bar i won't at first it to enter because as the bar change to red that means there's going to be a change in momentum that's what the accelerator is telling you so now as the um the accelerator shows green this is where you get your entry so far you have got your entry you can't your turn can't do it will surely go so you don't have to mind this i can tell you the reason why you don't have to mind this is that you have to confirm the trend from five minute time frame after confirm that this uh moving uh this trend moving average which is it. it's below the candle you have to also come same thing must happen from your five minute time frame that is what make your entry like your trade to be more confident you just want to get the confidence from the higher time frame to confirm once you see that the price is also above this moving average then you have your confidence in m1 to enter for long and count your 10 candle so assuming you enter from here so you count your 10 candle i think it gets it around here and exceeds the trade so now let's see this scenario here you see that the candle crosses here and it's still above it crosses here but this has tell you what's going to happen when it cross the cross happen here but it shows red signal the bar has turned to red which is telling you that there's going to be a change in momentum and what happened is this spike occur so the accelerator oscillator has already told you that before it happened so you have to listen to these two indicators there must be an agreement between them before you can use them to trade you understand if you can follow this you will surely be um, profitable in your trading so you understand is what i have to confirm very well you can see these two the cross happen but the accelerator oscillator is showing you red which means it's telling you that this um trend there's a there's a change in momentum it's possible for this trend to change so and what happen next but if you are the type that are very good in scalping and counting three to five candles you will good you will make a lot a lot in this strategy 
So if you are those that are staying in front of screen regularly, you will make a lot in this strategy because you will have cut your three to five candle before this spike happen. So, but the accelerator later has tell you that there's a spike. Spike is going to happen. So later, it's now correspond. So it's now to tell you the right here when the cross happen. It happens on the green, and when you see this, you confirm from your five minute time frame if that is true if the um crossing is you don't have to wait for this to cross in time minutes time frame take note of that what you are going to confirm in um five minutes time frame is this that this trend this trend moving average is same with the one minute time frame that the price is above it Take note of that. You are only confirming this 200 moving average in 5 minutes. You are less concerned about this or this. This gives signal. This tells you the market structure. Let me say that again. The 200 year may give you the market structure. Why the 35 and 5 and the accelerator gives you signals. So you are not finding signal in 5 minute time frame. You are only confirming this market structure in 5 minute time frame. Your signal is 1 minute time frame you should take note of that you can do some back testing and gain the confidence in the market you can see there is no crossing here but i will take this trade the reason why i'm going to take this trade is that the accelerator oscillator has tell me that the momentum is about to change and it's giving me green can green bar when the uh, market is supposed to be in downtrend and later i can see the um fast ema close to the slow ema but it went back when but it went back and I see the accelerator as already above the zero. This is zero line here. And it's giving green back. I will enter because it's telling me the um the this trend is very strong. That is why the five uh fast CM is unable to cross this low ME and cross it back. You understand that. But maybe if you don't want to um crack yourself, you can just follow the simple strategy this strategy is effective on boom and crash only i've not tested it on other markets but i've confirmed it on boom and crash guys any strategy you see go to your demo account and like check it very well i don't ask you to go into your live trading and started using this strategy you will have yourself to blame because someone um said something in my comment section that an indicator is useless indicator is that indicator is this i don't know all the people that made the indicator, they are technical experts. And each indicator is made for different purpose. If you use the indicator in a wrong way, it's going to fuck you up. Yes, because this um, accelerator, accelerator oscillator is made by B. Williams. And B. Williams is one of the best technical analysis in the whole world. You understand? So, and it did, and it did this indi uh, indicator for us momentum change. It's work this accelerators later work for acceleration acceleration and deceleration when the market is going up that is accelerating when the market is going down that is decelerating so each indicator has their own purpose so if you are not coming down like if you don't understand the work of each indicators very well you will have yourself to blame you will also conclude that no indicator is working though price action is the best but price action also fuck up sometimes that's why we go for price psychology that is institutional trading but i'm not ready for that yeah only the people that are ready to um go for my master class that have those uh i can give that knowledge i can um give it free on uh, youtube because um it is a lot it's going to take a lot of my time yes so there must be a motivation for that that's it that but any signal i give you if you have so if you have tried any um signal any sh um signal that is shining and it doesn't work well for you you have the right to drop the comment uh, my contact detail is under the um about under my channel so you can contact me i will know what is wrong because all the strategy i'm dropping under this channel is being verified and it's still active all of them are, are still active because i don't give signal and abandon it it is what i'm also using you understand so guys you have your demo account to build your confidence in all this strategy try to check the strategy in your demo 
I'm not asking you to go to this is not signal. Signal is different from strategy. So it's only signal that someone can give you that you can just go into your live trading. But strategy is for you to also is an idea. Strategy is an idea. So that you have to confirm it by yourself before you start using it. You understand? So guys, that is all for this video. If you have any other question, you can drop it under the comment section. So I wish you happy trading. Thank you. Um, you know, if you are not subscribed, if you think it's worth it, please do so. Thank you.